Technology is not a bad thing, but when it's used without moderation, it can become one. In today's video, we're going to discuss digital minimalism, some easy ways to get started, and if you watch it till the end, it could just change your life. First of all, what is digital minimalism? Digital minimalism is the practice of living a meaningful life in a digital world by intentionally choosing the technology that enhances your life and discarding the rest. It's about finding a balance in your digital and non-digital life and using technology in a way that supports your goals and values. There are so many darn benefits to digital minimalism. I'm gonna go ahead and just read them off and put them on the screen for you. You can have increased productivity. When you're not constantly distracted by your devices, you can focus on the task at hand and get more done. You can have improved focus. Digital clutter can make it difficult to focus on anything for long periods of time. Reduced stress. Constant exposure to technology can lead to stress and anxiety. By reducing your screen time, you can reduce your stress levels. Honestly, my anxiety shot through the roof when my screen time was high. When I cut back on my screen time, my anxiety dropped through the floor. Floor gang. It's an old dead meme. Okay. Um, you can have improved sleep. The blue light emitted from screens can disrupt your sleep cycle. By reducing your screen time before bed, you can improve your sleep quality. Increased creativity. When you're not constantly bombarded with information, you have more time to be creative. Digital minimalism can help you tap into your creativity and come up with new ideas. Finally, you can have improved relationships. When you're not constantly checking your devices, you can be more present with the people you're with. Digital minimalism can help you improve your relationships with your family, friends, and loved ones. So if I've convinced you, you're saying, man, this sounds great. I want to get started. What can I do? Here are some tips for you. I'm gonna do the same thing because I got a boatload of these puppies. So I'm just gonna throw them on the screen as I read them off. First of all, identify your digital distractions. What are the apps, websites, and platforms that you use the most? Which ones are the most distracting? Then set limits. Once you've identified those, set limits on how much time you spend on them. You can use a timer or certain apps to even help you track your time. Third, if that doesn't work and you're like me, you have no self-control to stop getting on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the apps that are so addicting, buy a minimalist phone like the Punked Phone or the Light Phone 2. I recommend in the light phone too. If you'd like to learn more about it or buy your own, you can check out my link below. I get a small kickback if you buy one through it. I've got plenty of videos on the light phone, so I'm not going to go on from there, but check out the light phone videos that I have. You might just change your mind on having a smartphone. This phone has changed my life. The next thing you can do, delete unused apps. Go through your phone and declutter it. If you got 100,000 apps on your screen, you're going to feel cluttered. My mom used to tell me a cluttered room leads to a cluttered brain. I feel the same way about devices. If your device is cluttered with different things, your brain is going to be a little bit more distracted when you use that phone. I don't know if there's science behind that, but <laughs> I'm using bro science here. For me, it's accurate. Take breaks. When you use technology, take plenty of breaks. I highly recommend you go out and touch some grass. Get outside. Even if you're not an outdoorsy person, go on a short walk. I guarantee you, you'll start to feel better and more mentally clear. Lastly, and this is the biggest one, be patient with yourself. When I was trying to cut back on my smartphone use, it took me like two years and it took a lot of trial and error. Following everything I say is not necessarily the right thing for you to do because you have to carve your own path in life. I would watch Thomas Frank or other YouTube who gave advice on this and follow what they said, but it wouldn't quite work for me. It wasn't until I did my own thing, which was get the light phone too, that my digital minimalism really took off and I saw some health changes in my life. Be patient with yourself and keep working. You can do this. I believe in you. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless your face and your family and take it easy. Pew!